Welcome to Business Bites. I'm Neo Maruatuna. The JSC ended the day weaker by almost a percent on 32,409 points. We spoke to Kevin Links from Stenlip looking at the downward trend on the market. I think you're having a, a re, what I would describe and describe last year as a rebalancing of flows. We had a lot of money going into emerging markets last year. It wasn't just bonds. It was There was a lot of money that went into the equity market. We attracted some of that. Um, and now you're seeing a little bit of rebalancing as some of the developed markets improve in terms of economic performance, particularly the U.S. So the U.S. as an economic story looks more convincing. And I think uh, on, overall people are saying, well, aren't there some opportunities within the developed market that we can exploit given that the emerging markets are a little bit full in terms of the pricing. On the other hand, the NEC ended the day down by a third of a percent on 26,605 points. We spoke to Sami Gadio from Stenbeek IBTC looking at the bond sector. The year bond actually rallied today to about 12.6%. Uh, it's actually in line with the trend that we've seen in recent weeks. Mm. Uh, the 20 year was trading at about 13.6% after the MPC held by the central bank uh, on the 24th and 25th of January and then rates started to decline. And we've seen the same decline actually across the yield curve right. uh, by a 20 to 80 basis points. The NEC 20 closed down by 35 points to end the day on 4,326 points. For an update on the market, we spoke to Crispus Odieno from Zavo Securities. Actually, we've seen that we've seen that after January, February, there we normally have companies doing their end of year results, and uh, they come back. They come in March, so we are seeing a lot of uh, investors holding off. Uh, maybe uh, I mean adopting a wait and see attitude uh, as we wait for the results to come off. Yes, the factors that you have mentioned affect, and I also would like to add that uh, we have foreign investors are also holding off. But basically, after March, we expect, uh, we expect a market correction to happen. For more news and videos, go to abndigital.com.